Hello, and welcome to Wisdom Scenes. In this video, we'll assume that you've obtained a set of posters and that you intend to use them with your family. And so we'll talk about some of the, the ways that you can use them here. Now, very simply, now when you first get them, though, it's good to put them on a wall that's uncluttered, so, and put them in a place where people will see them every day in the normal course of activities throughout your home. So, you know, if you have a wall with a bunch of stuff on it, you know, maybe just clear it off and just have this one poster on it. And so that way it helps feel the inspiration more if then when people are looking at it, they see just this without um, things close by it. Now, there are probably, you know, three different ways to use these posters, you know, with, with children and, and for yourself even. And, and the simplest way is to just put the poster on the wall yourself where, the, where your child will see it and then just rotate it every two weeks, you know, put up a new one every two weeks. And this is um, probably, and this is probably good for kids that are teenage years because if, you know, you don't want to force a discussion on them about this if they're not really open to it or they're probably at an age where um, they're not open to having inspirational discussions with you anymore. But it can be very powerful, though, and very, um, you know, subtly profound to have one of these posters on the wall. Because they all have uplifting messages, you know, inspirational concepts. And a lot of times in today's world, you know, children don't even learn some of, um, some basic inspirational concepts. Like, um, you know, a very simple one is that they might, you know, to be happy, you really need to do things for other people. You know, it's more blessed to give than to receive. And, and it's, you know, sometimes, you know, kids don't even hear that growing up to date. What we can do is, you know, you could use one of these very simple posters. There's, um, you know, there's this one here, you know, open a door, open your heart. When you do something nice for someone, it opens your own heart. Or and there's another poster that, um, you know, with a, a great Mark Twain quote, you know, just a fun poster, you know, to cheer yourself, the best way to cheer yourself up is to cheer up somebody else. And so you can just put that on the wall, and that at least then gets the, the idea, in a fun way, into the child's um, consciousness. And, you know, of course it takes more than just hearing that, but it takes living it. But at least they'll have the idea then, that can then germinate into, you know, action maybe later on. So that's, you know, the simplest way is just to put them up and then to rotate them. Now another way, you know, the second way is that, is to put them up together with your child, you know, you know, take it down together and then put up the next one together, you know, look at it, appreciate it, see what the theme is, the message is, and then have a discussion with your child about it. Now this can be not only a good teaching tool and a way to kind of instill values in your child, but it can be also be a spark for a very meaningful discussion and sharing and bonding with your child that you wouldn't normally otherwise have because you can be talking and discussing something and sharing about your own experience that relates to an uplifting theme. So you can just put this up and it's good, you know, if the child is open to it or as a, at an age where they're still, you know, open to having these kind of discussions with you, to, you know, talk about your own experience too, if it relates to, to one of the, to the theme of the poster. And that can be very um, impactful in a way for the child to one is to get to, get to know you better too. So that's the second way to do this. Now the third, you know, is to, you know, put the poster up, have a discussion about it, but then to also, you know, decide on some activity or exercise that you can do together or individually related to the theme about it. You know, like this one, um, just simple, open a door, open your heart. You know, you can both decide, you know, okay, you're gonna do something nice for somebody throughout the weeks. You know, it's good to have these posters up, you know, probably every two weeks is about the right time frame. You can decide yourself or figure out what's best for your own um, situation. But two weeks, you know, within, you know, when you put it up for, you know, one week might be too rushed and then, you know, longer than two weeks and it starts to lose the, the effect and you're ready for another one. But anyway, you know, you could have a, this discussion with um, your child saying, okay, we're going to do something nice for somebody throughout the normal course of our days. And you can both kind of just brainstorm about things you can both do individually and it's good to pick something simple, you know, something that you can just fit into the normal course of your day. You know, you could think of something elaborate that you're going to do together, and that's fine. 
but it's also good to think of simple things you can do that so because you want to integrate these into your own life into you, you want the child to learn to just integrate these into his own life and not make it be a special effort but a normal effort and so you know you and then you know it could just be simple like opening a door helping somebody unload something or load something up into a car and then you know then at night time, you know, maybe at dinner time or something, when you're together, you can talk about what you've done throughout in, in that day to help somebody else out and feel your heart open. And that can be, you know, the best way to learn is through example and through experience. And so when your child hears about you making an effort along these lines, they will be most impressed. And that's where the real kind of sharing and teaching you know, the most sharing and teaching can come from is when a child can see you making um, an effort or telling you about, telling him, you know, telling, telling about the parent's experience. You know, if you have this opportunity with your child, they're at an age where they're willing to listen to you and to do these things, by all means, take it. Um, I mean, my own kids are, you know, they're in teenage years right now, and you know, I can just put these on the wall now where they can look at them and they'll make comments on them and things, and it's useful. But if they're at an age still where they'll, you know, you can talk and do things around it, inspirational theme, by all means, you know, use every opportunity you can. Life can be very hectic and a lot of demands, but just, you know, create the time, create the space, and use whatever tools you can to bring uplifting sharing, uplifting messages to your children.